Hi everybody, it's Miss Ward and I'm really excited about today's lesson. Um, today is lesson 2.3, explaining daytime and nighttime. Welcome! Okay, so we're going to look at what we know about daytime and nighttime um, because we are really close to being able to answer this question about why it's daytime in some places on Earth while at the same time it's nighttime on Earth, right? So why is it daytime in some places on Earth when it's nighttime in other places? We're going to make this chart called What We Know About Daytime and Nighttime. Okay, and one side is going to have daytime and the other side is going to have nighttime and we'll record everything we know so far, right? So, so far we know that when it's daytime, you see the sun. And when it's nighttime, we see the stars. So that's the first thing on our chart. And I'm actually going to make the whole chart have that black paper with star stickers because even the sun is actually in space, right? So the sun isn't just all by itself, it's actually in space, right? So the sun is in space. Let's take a bigger look, a closer look. Okay, here we are out in space. All right, so if we have the sun over here, right? and we have the stars over here, then on this side, it's gonna be daytime, right? And on this side, it's gonna be nighttime. So all we need now is our little earth. What do you notice about the shape of my little earth? Yeah, it's round like a ball, right? So imagine that you and I are right here on the earth. If we're right here, and we're right here in the sky. So our, for us right here, is it daytime or is it nighttime? What do you think? If the earth is here and we're right here, and the sun's over here, and the stars are over here. Is it daytime or nighttime? Yeah, you knew it. It's daytime, right? And so imagine that we're over here then, on the other side of the earth, right? So if we're over here, is it daytime or nighttime for somebody on that side? facing away from the sun. Yeah, it's nighttime. So let's put some stickers on our earth, okay? So it's daytime. Point to where on the earth right now it would be daytime. Go ahead, point. Where would it be daytime? Yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna put a sticker right here to show that's one of the places it would be daytime on the earth. And then point to where on the earth it would be nighttime. This side is daytime, what side would be nighttime? Go ahead, point. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a sticker, a black sticker to show nighttime on this side, okay? So we have daytime that's facing the sun and nighttime that's facing the star. That was really fun. So um, we learned that it's daytime for people in places on earth that are facing the sun. And it's nighttime on earth for people that are not facing the sun. Let's do the same thing with our daytime and nighttime chart and look again at Mount Nose. You guys remember Mount Nose? So just to remind you before we get started, we're gonna pretend our head is the earth 
and our nose is a mountain. All right, let's try. Now that we're back out in space again, let's go ahead and do our mount nose role play. Remember that from last time? So we're gonna imagine that there's a person on top of our nose and our nose is a mountain on earth, okay? So instead of using our little earth model, our head's gonna be the earth, okay? So which way would I have to face if I wanted the person on my nose to be having daytime? Which way would I have to face? Would I face this way? Or would I face this way? That's right, I would be facing towards the sun if I wanted the person on that nose to be having daytime. What about nighttime? Yeah, if I was facing this way, the person on Mount Nose would be having nighttime. They'd probably be asleep. Right? Nighttime. Daytime. Okay, why don't you guys do it with me, okay? So I'm gonna move my nose and you shout out if the person on Mount Nose is gonna have daytime or nighttime emotions too so daytime or nighttime ready I move my nose you tell me That was fun. Okay, now I'm gonna shout out daytime or nighttime and you move your nose, right? You ready? Daytime. Daytime. Nighttime. 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 Daytime. Nighttime. You guys did great. That was really fun. Welcome back to Earth, you guys. Let's explain some of the things that we just learned about daytime and nighttime on Earth. So we've been doing so many different ways of recording our data, right? So one thing we did is we had our chart here where we observed different places and we put stickers on our globe for those different places and we said which ones were daytime and nighttime. Now we're going to use this same data table to make some sentences. So we're going to use these words that I have down here um, to help us talk like scientists so that we can explain to other people what we found out today. So let's work together. Let's start with Seattle because that's where I'm from. Okay, so we have in Seattle, it was, hmm, was it daytime or nighttime in Seattle in our chart? Let's go back and look. Hmm. Do you guys see it? In Seattle, it was daytime. So in Seattle, it was daytime. And why? because that place was facing the sun or not facing the sun? That was daytime, was it facing the sun or not facing the sun? That's right, it was facing the sun. So let's read it all together. In Seattle, it was daytime because that place was facing the sun. Let's do another one. Let's try it again with Sydney, so we can look at our table and see if it was daytime or nighttime in Sydney, okay? So in Sydney, it was daytime or nighttime? Go 
That's right, it was nighttime in Sydney. And why was it nighttime in Sydney? Was the place facing the sun or not facing the sun? <laughs> not facing the sun, that's right. So let's read it all together. In Sydney, it was nighttime because that place was not facing the sun. Nice work. I really encourage you guys to go through and see if you can make these sentences with each one of our places. So Seattle, Mexico City, Zambezi, Sydney, New York, and Hawaii. You can even do other places that you know about. One last thing before we go, you guys, if you have the packet. If you don't have the packet, that's okay. You can try drawing it on a blank piece of paper um, or you can just skip it, that's okay too. But if you have the packet, this would be a great thing to do now. All right, so in your packet, you have this paper that says daytime and nighttime on earth. And you'll notice first that there's a diagram, like a picture like this one, okay, where you can record all your ideas. So this one shows the sun and the earth, just like what we did with our chart. And what I want you to do is you're gonna use this picture to record what we learned about daytime and nighttime. And let me just go over the directions with you really quickly. So I want you to draw a big X where it's daytime, okay? And I want you to draw a circle where it's nighttime. And then down on the bottom, you can write about what people there would see in the sky. So what are some places where it would be daytime on Earth? And what are some places where it would be nighttime? And you guys can get ready and we can talk about that tomorrow. All right, thanks guys, see you next time.